My name is Betsy Hutchison. I'm an associate professor in the biology department. So I work on a fungus called Neurospora crassa, and it's this bright orange fungus that we use as a model organism. So this is useful because we can learn a lot about how fungi in general grow and work and what they do, and then we can apply that to other systems that are harder to work with. And this fungus has been used as a model system for over 100 years. And one of the things we're interested in, in my lab is how does this fungus undergo mating? A lot is not known about this process in different filamentous fungi, and so we're trying to use Neurospora as a model to understand that. Fungi have a lot of uses in medicine in terms of understanding how fungi cause disease in plants and animals, and they also have uses in terms of medicinal compounds that we can isolate from fungi uh, to combat disease, so they really have a, a broad spectrum of uses there. Fungi have a huge role in the ecosystem. They're really important recyclers. They break down dead organic matter, many of them do, and put that back into the environment for other organisms to use. Sometimes you don't know how prevalent they are in your daily life and, and how abundant they are in the environment until you start looking. And so if you think about in terms of one really important fungus yeast that we use in food production, if you drink some wine or beer or you use your sourdough starter, those all involve yeast and that's a fungus that's used in food production. And even if you just go on a hike, I feel like it's one of those things where once you start to look for fungi, you'll notice that they're sort of everywhere, right? There are tons of them. There's that knee-jerk reaction that, oh, they're gross and that they're only mushrooms and fungi exist in so many other, you know, ways. Sometimes you don't even see them, but they're playing a role in the environment. Sometimes people wonder, why do you study this fungus that is not a pathogen? We're answering basic biology questions. Fungi are fairly closely related to people. Sometimes people don't want to think about that. They're in the same domain as we are, eukaryotes. And a lot of times by understanding processes in fungi, we can kind of extrapolate that to what might be happening in other animals. We can use a simpler system like fungi to kind of answer questions about more complex systems that are harder to work with. So that's one of the benefits of studying fungi.